Hi students, let's look at this question which was taken uh, from one of the uh, question posted to me. Uh, this question is on inequalities. Uh, it's a pretty uh, simple one as, as we have already done most of it in uh, school, uh, in our, our lessons before. So let's see how we can resolve this uh, proficiently. So you're given that, uh, that 3 over 2 minus x is bigger or equal to 2. Now first of all, uh, just take note, especially for the denominator, you have to be very mindful that actually um, x could not be 2 all right, because it will render the de denominator to be 0 which would be undefined for this function here so there are a few ways of uh, solving this equation you could either use a graphing uh, method or you could use the algebraic method but I prefer to use the algebraic method because it's easier so what we're going to do is you can cross multiply just take note of that uh, in inequality, when you are not sure of whether it, this is always positive or negative, you can't cross multiply. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the uh, minus two to the other side and bigger than equals to zero. All right. So once you do, you, you have done that, this will be three minus two, two minus x, two minus x, bigger equals to zero. All right. Now this is all right. So once you're done with this, you are going to get uh, three. So I'm going to expand this. So um, this is not not really a, a big deal. 2 minus x bigger equals to 0 and then what we'll get is 2x minus 1 2 minus x equals to 0 all right so this is this is all right now this part here uh, how do you solve this inequality i'm going to use something called the test point method i'm not sure whether um, some of you have have tried this method before but we're going to see how we, we can solve this all right so once you um, basically uh, what you need to do is actually you just need to list down the root uh, from the numerator and the denominator so this would be x equals to half and this below here will be x equals to 2 all right so that that's all right so this is this is this is 2 and this is half okay now take note that you can't you cannot equate to 2 uh, because the rule for the first one is actually x can't be equal to uh, 2 and the the top the the numerator you could uh, you could equal to here Right, then I'm going to use a test point method. So basically, I'm going to use like a very, very big value. So that's x equals to 100. All right. So this would render the top. If when x is 100, this top would be 200 minus 1, which is actually positive, right? So I, I'm, I'm actually not, not, not interested about actual value, but I just want to know the positive, the outcome. So 2 minus 100 will be negative. So this would be plus divided by minus so overall will be negative all right overall negative so x equals 100 is over here so this is actually overall negative okay so just take note whenever you you this is a this is a test point method means whenever you cross a um, root which is 2 and minus what minus a uh, half you just need to alternate the sign it's binary so it's plus minus plus minus plus minus so this minus this will be plus and this will be minus that's how you do it. Okay, it doesn't matter where, which, whichever point you start uh, testing because if you test here, this will be negative and 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 you just alternate it. Uh. So that's that's the idea of the test point method. Okay, so this is the method that I prefer. And once you're done with that, then you want it to be positive. So it's from half to two. So hence, x will be equal to half, and this would be less than two. Okay. So this is how you solve for the first one, all right? Now, I'm going to give you a few more examples, which is actually, uh, there's, there's a few more examples of how we, we could actually solve this question here, all right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to proceed to this subsequent question, which is actually similar. So similarly, when you want to solve this inequality, just take note that x, x cannot be equals to 1 because it will render the function to be invalid. So this will be 4. 1 minus x plus 3 less equals to 0. All right, so that's pretty okay. Once you've done that, really, what you're going to do is you just make this a single fraction just like what we did just now. So it's 3, 1 minus x, 1 minus x less than equals to 0. So I'm going to use the test point method. Um, this would be 1 minus x and less than equals to 0. So what I'm going to do is actually just going to uh, do uh, this, which is actually um, 1 and 7 over 3, the root on top is 7 over 3, right? 
So this this will, will give you a 7 over 3 for your root and this will be 1. So that's pretty okay. Then I'm going to use the test point method similarly. So I'm going to put a very very big value. So let's say x equals to 1 million. It doesn't matter. La. It's just So if x is 1 million, the top 7 minus 3 million will be a negative. La. It's obvious, right? So 1 minus 1 million, it will also be a negative value. So negative over negative. So 1 million is here. This is a test point method. It is to render it to be a positive. So this region is actually positive. And basically, whenever you cross the divide, just alternate. Now, there are, there are, there are cases where you don't alternate the, the sign. Uh, but that's another. I'll just refer to my notes. Okay, My notes, um, we did explore it uh, ex extensively during lesson. So now just take note, you can't equate to the uh to the the uh what do you call it the denominator because x cannot be one and you you can equate to seven over three so you need it to be positive so this will be x bigger than um seven over three and less than one so this is how you solve it so this part here hence x is less than one or x is larger or equal to seven over three okay i prefer to use the test one method um, because it's pretty quick actually once you get a hang of it so we, I'm just going to go to that third question quickly so this part here similarly uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the minus half over and just take note x can't be equal to zero can't be equals to zero so that's one uh, this part here we get three minus x over x minus two bigger than zero so this three minus x minus two x over x bigger than zero and uh, three minus three x over x bigger than zero so what we're going to get is actually just uh, um, what we're going to get is just x equals to 0 and then we have got 1 All right, the top is just 1 right so I'm going to make a very very big value so I'm just going to use like 1 million so this will be negative this numerator would be positive negative positive overall would be negative positive negative so what you have is actually just 0 to 1 anyway there's no equal sign for this equal question so we are not very worried about it so hence this is between 0 and 1. Okay? So I hope you understand what, what is going on here for inequality sign. But if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, drop me a text. Get hold of me. Um, keep practicing. See you in the next video. Bye.